So, so we're recording this right after the Cardinals game. For those who are listening, we're kind of freaking out. So, and a little drunk. <laughs> oh, man! Wow! What a game! So we like your pod, and we're going to tell you. Why. <laughs> we're going to tell you why. And we're going to tell you why. It's Don. It's Don here, and I'm joined by my trusted partner, Matt Pickett. <laughs> <laughs> This is so great. Oh, oh, Thursday night football Packers at Cardinals. And I was going to ask you about your vacation, but who cares? It was awesome. It was great. Good, good, good. <laughs> oh, and I had a good week too, but tonight, my goodness, wow. is just, <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. Yeah. And as I said pre-show to Matt, I wanted to say I felt it. I felt like we were going to win, but I didn't want to say it because it was kind of an against all odds thing. Yeah. But as we were playing, I'm like, we're going to win. I mean, I even stepped away and missed a few. Th- I was listening to WTMJ, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I wasn't watching everything. And I never felt like we were going to lose it. Of course, I thought, oh, great. You know, they're going to possess the ball for the last couple of minutes and mm-hmm. all they need is a touchdown and a field goal. But I don't know. I just didn't feel like we weren't going to get there. Wow. I, I mean, I'll admit I was feeling really good about the game at halftime. They had that stat up, which was like uh, Matt, LaFleur, Matt LaFleur has won a million games and lost one game when they're like leading at halftime. And I was like, ooh, I didn't realize that. I That's know, good. 25 and one. So now it's 26 and one. Yeah. And then, you know, of course, the last drive, I'm like, oh, no, like they're getting, they're going down the yeah. field. This feels like what it must be like to watch the Packers if you're an opposing team fan, <laughs> you know, to see them come down the field and like, you know, they get the, get the, you know, walk off touchdown or whatever. So, Russell Douglas in the Rasool. end zone. Unbelievable. Just Isn't that was. <laughs> that, I think I saw somebody on Twitter say, like, that was the most surreal last three minutes of a game they've seen in a long time. And, like, yeah, no doubt. Wow. No yes. Doubt. We're so, so lucky. I yes. love football. <laughs> well, yes. I was missing out on this for decades. And, <laughs> like, this is great. <laughs> So, you know, of course I have like little kids downstairs sleeping and I haven't wanted to, like the last time I want to scream this much after a game was over um, was the, uh, the Miracle in Motown, you know, against the, the Lions, of course, with that, that last minute Hail Mary. Yeah. Um, that was when I had to like stifle. This was when I had to stifle just as much tonight. So right. can goodness. you like, can you like just go outside and let it out or no? Ugh, I don't know. Your neighbors <laughs> and call the cops. Neighbors. Yeah. Probably the kids anyhow. <laughs> Well, I couldn't scream because little Missy was sleeping <laughs> over there. A kitten. And she, I did kind of like <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and she looked at me like, what, mommy? What did I do wrong now? Because, you know, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so the Cardinals are no longer undefeated. <laughs> so sorry. And in the playoffs, having that victory over them could really affect the seeding a lot. It it was very important that way. Yeah. Very important game. And even toward the end, I'm like, hey, okay, so even if we don't win, I'm going to be happy because I was like giving myself a pep talk because I didn't want to be all depressed. And, but I was thinking, but it's going to affect, I mean, this has playoff. I mean, it felt like a playoff game. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> right like because it, it has implications of of that nature and mm-hmm. wow I just wonder if you know the national broadcasting is going to devote more than one minute to the Packers maybe tomorrow <laughs> just maybe <laughs> not that it matters I know I don't like to oh, we'll talk about Tom Brady it, you know it's uh, I know it's always about Brady. <laughs> well you know I'm beginning to have more respect for Brady now because he's funny 
well, he is funny. He's weird. And, but he knows how to manage a football team. You got to give him that. Right. Yeah, that's absolutely anyway, right. let's not talk about Brady. My yeah, God. Yeah, no, seriously, get that. Get yeah, that. Get, look, look, look. Um, so don't. Let's do a show, huh? Let's let's talk about it's some like, stuff. You got something in your mouth. It tastes bad. You got to get it out. Okay, I'll have another drink. That'll help. There you go. <laughs> oh my God! Wow, so happy. And I think that was all about coaching because if you take, I mean, obviously it was players, but if you take second and third string. And you can do that against an undefeated team that that had the odds of winning. Come on. I mean, of yeah. course, we have Aaron Rodgers, but still, he Coach wasn't perfect. Yeah. Coach of the year right there. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I said so. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So. Um, we have a show. Yeah. Do you, do you want me to do um, so the flow of this week really kind of goes with my superlatives. You want me to get into that now or do you want to talk about some other stuff first? Go ahead, do your superlatives. I yeah. don't know if I'm going to even, like mine are going to matter anyway. Like nothing <laughs> matters anymore. <laughs> so, you, you had asked me, Don, how was, how was my vacation, right? And so it was oh, awesome. Kidding. I only caught the first half of the Washington game and then we had to like drive to the airport. So um, right. it, was, it was good to go into that game really feeling like we're going to win it, no problem. Um, and even after the first half wasn't like super awesome, I still was like, yeah, we, we have this one in hand. Um, and so, of course, you know, after that game is over, I'm thinking ahead to the Thursday game and just how like, uh, I don't know if we're going to win this game, that kind of stuff. And then, of course, what was the first big news of the week was Joe Barry and then Devante, you know, were hit with COVID. Yeah. So uh, my first superlative goes to, um, to Bill Huber for most helpful, because as I've probably mentioned before, Bill Huber is one of the three like Twitter accounts I have on like set on alerts you know, that come through to my home screen um, because he always like breaks the the biggest Packers news I think like best and earliest it seems like so really appreciate the work he does and so in this case he um, put together a really good article really fast after the Devante news about like what it means what the process is going forward like how Devante could still be in how the COVID testing works just like laid it all out and then some and that was in a moment when a lot of people on Twitter were like wait, what, what does this mean? How does this work? And so he just like oh. laid it out and it was, it was a really great article. So um, big props to Bill Huber for most helpful of the week. Um, my second one then goes to, I have to look here. So like freaking out about the game still. It's, it's okay, you have to look because honestly, that seems like a hundred years ago. <laughs> I know, right? Seriously. Right <laughs> okay, so so my second one um, is about the best like concept for for guests. So I'm gonna say just best guests overall to um, the Packs What She Said podcast because you know what they've been doing for a lot of their episodes this yes. um, this year has been having like reporters from the opposing team on the show, right. and that is really cool because like you know as Packers fans, as Packers Twitter fans, as Packers Sphere fans. It's always to be caught like in that, you know, the echo chamber of the Packers stuff. And so you don't get the perspective very often of folks from outside, like maybe, maybe from Bears fans, because there's a lot of Bears fans that I'm friends with on, on Twitter. But outside of that, like, you don't really hear the perspective from the other side. So to hear like a reporter from, you know, from the Cardinals this week, I don't remember her name, unfortunately, she was amazing. Um, she was, I think it was Dana wasn't it? I can't remember what it was. I meant to write it down and I didn't have it, but she was Beautiful. great. And that was yes. a great guest. And that concept, I know they did that at least a couple other times this year. I remember one with, um, no, I don't remember one. There was one definitely <laughs> who was great. It was, I forget. It was, I don't know. It's a great idea. I love the idea. Maggie it was, and yes, um, it is great when Maggie and Perry keep doing that. We love it. It's awesome. So please best, do yes. that. I, I listened to her and I liked her. She was from Texas and she just got to the Cardinals and she talked about how she was just getting to know the team and how difficult, actually speaking of COVID and your previous mm -hmm. um, superlative, she was talking about, you know, when you're wearing masks and you're trying to let people get to know your face and the players, you're trying to learn their names and their faces, but they've got a mask on. It was mm -hmm. like, that's pretty challenging. Yeah, that's she right. was delightful. Right. She was that was absolutely a good one. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then my, my third, I'm actually have four um, instead of three, just because we're so excited here. My third one <laughs> then um, follows the flow of the week again, because it was uh, Wes Hotkowitz on Packers Unrestricted. Of course, you know, Wes is a, a beat writer and uh, writes for Packers.com. Um, anybody who's listening to this knows that already, of course. Um, Wes Hotkowitz is a, is a good take machine. He's awesome. 
And the thing that I really liked on the last episode of Packers Unrestricted is where he was talking about just how terrible it is that we have Thursday night games because it's just so hard on the on the players. It's so many injuries seem to happen. We saw that tonight, a ton of injuries in game. Uh, it had to be more than like your, your average game. I don't know the statistics, but it was bad, you know? Very. Some bad injuries out there. And yeah, like he, I, I think the thing he said was like Thursday night games are not going to go away. Like we know that that's what the NFL is. Like they're not going to take games away, but like, yeah, at the very least, and this is the thing. Okay. This was like the, the thing that really, I thought was awesome was he said at least if you're going to have the Thursday night games don't have the teams like having to cross time zones because that's just an unfair right you know part of it like at least have uh, like teams in the same time zone play each other on the Thursday night games and I think that was a really good point like we can't make them go away they're problematic but at least can we do something to make them less so now of course the Packers did prevail after all playing across a time zone or two you know it must be two time zones right to get to uh but the injuries on both sides yeah no totally totally right um but yeah so i just i think that Mm -hmm. we would say that was uh best best point uh west gets best point for the week and i just want to throw a fourth one in there um just before uh the game started uh dark harger who is an outstanding follow on twitter hopefully anybody listening already does follow him um he finding right now quickly just had such a good take before the game. Um, it was, let me see, I got it right here. So before the game, he said, this is just one of those games you sit back and enjoy. Don't expect to win, but be pleasantly surprised when it happens. Playing with house money in the desert, love it, go pack go. And that is it, that is so it, because like this is a kind of game where you go into, it could be like just freaking out, like we're gonna lose, we're gonna like, you know, look bad, like people are gonna like disrespect the Packers or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. And so you go into it and just say, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. This should be a fun game, you know? Cause it's like two really good teams is always gonna make for a good game. Well, usually it's gonna make for a good game. Yeah. And it was, it was it a was. really fun game, you know? Great. And then of course it's nice that it ended that way, but like, even if we had lost at the end, I still would have said it was a really fun watch because it was, you know? Really oh, hundred percent. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. No, Dara, um, Dara's awesome. Really, really good take there. And so I guess, yeah. um, I don't know if that, what this photo is for that. I maybe just tweet of the week, I guess, perhaps, you know, because mm-hmm. I, I think you just nailed it. Best so. attitude of the week. Best, Best attitude. attitude. Yes. I'll go with that. Best Outlook. attitude. Yeah. I, I agree. And I was, as we, as we opened, I was thinking about that because before we got on, we were doing our chit chat before the show. And I was thinking I was going to, obviously you're going to accept, you can accept the, you know, the findings, you can accept the results, but what, what outlook do you have? Is it, oh, I really, this was great. This was exciting. They really showed up. You know, I always say that. I just want to see a good game. I just want them to show up and not get embarrassed, yes, right? Yes, yes. And they showed because up so they, good. They did. And they just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how that translates on a podcast. <laughs> I think I'm more of a video person than a podcast because my hands are going. And my, but oh, um, but th- yeah, because I, I do that. I, I never used to be able to. I think this is one of the things here. I'm going to go wax philosophically here. Do it. Um, go for it. <laughs> how football is helpful to life skills because it helps us accept, learn how to accept um, you know, defeat or with grace, you know, and how to, or even victory with grace or not. I mean, some people aren't really graceful about it, but, um, I was thinking, okay, well, they're good. I mean, the Arizona didn't give up. They don't have that, um, six and oh, or seven and no four or nothing. Right. And we did dominate the the third quarter, I think it was, I can't remember. Now, don't, you're not gonna, you're not coming here for football next week. Okay. <laughs> not to me at least. <laughs> or, or recall because I forget everything five minutes later, but the truth is I was thinking, okay, they might lose. <laughs> Our team might lose, but it's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but it's at least it was really exciting and really respectable and we put up such a great fight and with the 
with the losses that we've had, I mean, we don't have half of our team, half of our first string. We don't have most yeah. of our first string. We don't have back here. How, I mean, how far started? We don't have Pro the. Bowlers. We don't have the. We don't have. I mean, Preston came tonight, played <laughs> a little bit, and he did do some, some, um, some great plays. But I mean, we, we're this is this is really promising because we really don't have. If we can build up for the second half of this season, <laughs> so excited! I can't stand it. I, <laughs> you know, because if you're not following the Packers, you're not going to know what that means because you're not following all the injuries and, you know, the mm-hmm. whole thing. So, yeah, yeah as, it, as the people really, come healthy, it's going to go crazy. I mean, if right. we, can, we can be that team. If we be that extremely good team. Yeah. If, like uh, this, with these people. Yeah. With these people who are great people. Me. They're great players. They're all our, great players. Our O-line course. tonight, you know, for almost every play held up amazingly well. And Winfrey, Right. He had yeah. some drops, but like he came through when, when we really needed he him. He did. And, I and mean, EQ having a game. You oh, know? yeah. Yeah. So I think this is all on Matt LaFleur yes. and his coaching staff. And we are definitely well coached because if if we can do this tonight with these players um, and hold it together, wow. <laughs> that's just really fantastic. It's really fantastic. I've been watching car. I mean, because I'm on the West Coast, so I pay attention to the Cardinals. And they were supposed to be the team really last year. And I don't know why they fell apart exactly. I was, I don't remember anything. That's my problem. I just <laughs> I have short-term memory problem. I'm I've got Alzheimer's. No, I'm old, but they they're good and they're solid and they're very well coached and mm-hmm. they're fun to watch too. And the, they should have done this well last year, honestly. I don't remember what, why they didn't, but I, I know what you mean. I remember like people were they, talking a lot about them at first. I can't remember what happened either. I, I think, yeah. Uh, and yeah. I think the coach really worked with the quarterback and he's not trying to win the game on his own, maybe as much. Um, yeah. Anyway, but okay. So when I hear, okay, I don't even remember. Like I said, it doesn't even matter anymore. Nothing matters. Anymore. 